welcome back to my channel so in today's video I'll be putting together this look I did a soft glam but natural beat so it came out if you'd like to see how I got this look keep watching hey guys so first we're gonna start off with primer I use the elf oil control primer mist this just helps to set your face before you get started um, I specifically use the oil control because my face tends to get oily and it works quite well Next, we're going to start off with the eyebrows. So you can use any eyebrow brush, any eyebrow spoolie, and just brush the hairs in the direction of your natural eyebrow. Next, I go in with the Brow Pencil Professional Kiss New York. I use the shade KWE PO4. I actually stack up on this because this is my favorite one that I've used, and it works quite well. You just fill in the shape of your eyebrow and then brush that in. Next, I go in with the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Fawn, and then using an angle brush, I carve out the shape of my eyebrow based on, you know, what your eyebrow shape like. <laughs> so you want to get a clean cut, you want to be as precise as possible because the eyebrows really make or break your makeup. Don't forget that everybody's eyebrows is not the same, they're sisters, not twins, so if one looks different from the other, that's fine. So I also keep going and put the concealer, um all along the base of my eye because that's where we're going to prep for the eyeshadow once we cover the base of our entire lid we're going to use a wet beauty blender and just blend that in so we can get a nice clear canvas to work with for our eyeshadow blend 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 ladies So next, I used the Morphe 35R palette. Um, they didn't have color names, so I'm not quite sure how I'm going to explain to you what I used, but I'm just going to tell you what type of colors I used. So I used a base light brown on both parts, and it acts as, like, as I said before, the base of the eyeshadow. I then went in with a darker brown just to go along the corners of my eyes, and then I buffed that inwards. Next, I went in with a golden shimmer to go from the corner towards the middle. And then I blended both the shimmer and the dark color in towards each other. And so that I made sure that they blend and they met quite nicely. So now for the eyeliner, I used the LA Colors Liquid Eyeliner in the color black. Just to outline where exactly I want my wing to go as well as it's going to act as a base for the lashes I applied later. So now we're going to connect from the corner of our eye, being very careful to finish out this sharp wing. Now we're just going to apply lashes. Uh, some people use the normal lash adhesive some people use hair glue for a firmer hold whichever one you use it works and then you just stick them along your lash line So now that we're finished with the eyes, we're going to go ahead and use the same LA Pro Concealer in Fawn above the eyebrows just to shape out and carve the top. We're later going to go in with the shade Chestnut to finish and line off the eyebrows. So now we're going to go in with the same chestnut that I uh, mentioned before and just apply it to my entire face. Yes, we might be looking crazy right now, but anybody who knows makeup knows that's just a part of the process. It is what it is, okay? 
so we're just applying that all around the entire face and then once we're done we're gonna go in with a wet beauty blender and then blend out everything nice and seamless when you're blending you're also going to be blending into your hairline as well as into your neck so it all just comes together and so it all just matches so once we're done blending under the eyes and the nose making sure everything is great we're gonna start contouring so I use the same LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Fawn under my eyes, along the nose, the cupid's bow, and your forehead. This is just where all the, where areas where the natural light hits. So right here, I also use the NYX Sculpt and Highlight Face Duo in the shade Chestnut and Sand. It has a different um, consistency than the LA Pro, so I use it on the outer part of my face as well. So here I'm using the NYX Professional Makeup Wonder Stick just to contour the cheekbones and the chin area. And now we're going to blend, 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 blend. For the Wonder Stick, it was um, WSO5 Deep Rich, Rich Profound Contour Colors. So now we're going to use that same contour stick in the darker shade and just contour the nose along the cheekbones and then along the forehead and then blend it in again now that everything is blended we're going to go in with the Sasha buttercup setting powder under the eyes and in all the areas that we contour so along the nose along the jawline and then right in the middle of the forehead So now I went in with the Kiss New York Contour Kit uh, KCTO3, I'm sorry, FOT, in the medium shade just to contour along the nose, the same places that we added the liquid contour. We're just going to use a powder and go over those areas. And then along the forehead, of course. So now I took a medium brush just to brush and buff it all out before we go ahead and wipe off the setting powder. So when we're removing the setting powder, we use an angle brush just so it can go ahead and go along the lines that we created, just to give that sculpted look. So once that's all brushed out, I went in with the dark contour shade in the classic face palette. Just to go along all those areas, I also added blush from the same palette along the cheeks and just blended in. And I'm sorry, I just blended it in. <laughs> so I also took highlight from the Kiss Contour kit just to go along my cheekbone, along the nose 
and then the cupid's bow all the same places that we just contoured next i went in with black eyeliner underneath the eyes that's just to make it pop um, i tend to do this quite often just to give that finished look as well as to make your eyes appear wider and more vibrant now we're gonna just take a wipe and wipe off all the excess makeup off our lips before we get to those Right, so I used a brown lip liner. Any lip liner works. I recently started doing this and actually um, like how it comes out. So you just go along the line of your lips and then fade it inwards before you add lip gloss. Next, I added Carmax. I don't know if anybody else does this, but I just do it because I don't like putting anything lip gloss wise without anything as a base on my lips. It might just be me, but it works. So now I use the NYX LG ZA in the flavor sponge cake just to go along the inside and then we just blend that in, blah, blah, blah. Then we just set with the NYX matte finish setting spray fan it out and this is the end of the makeup look we just buff it out and we're done Now it's time for <laughs> motivational quote of the day. Today's motivational quote is, no one can do what you do the exact way you do it. That came from the content bug, also known as Katherine Manning on YouTube. And that's the end of this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed how I put this look together. Give it a like down below. Comment what's your favorite thing to do in the makeup process. If you like this jacket, super simple but nice design. I also did a Fashion Nova slash Forever 21 haul. Definitely go and check that one out. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.